Hey, what's going on, everybody? Marty here with Comic Book Fanatic. So, this one is a, I guess, uh, the number, the number two box, I guess you can call it that, uh, of of uh, the video that I did, the couple that I posted a few days ago, and I posted a video of going through one of my short boxes because if you haven't seen that yeah I recommend kind of going back to that because I'm not really going to recap too much on what I mentioned last time um, but I did ask if anybody you know wanted to see more of what was in these short boxes or what, what was in my long boxes and what have you and I, I had a few uh, really f a few good positive comments back so I just want to say thank you very much uh, to the following people uh, for their feedback. Uh, first of all, Comic Quest, uh, shout out to you. Thank you very much for that feedback. Uh, Big Rich, uh, New York Warriors, of, co of course, uh, Big Lion 646, and Seeking Themyscira. All right, and um, I got I got some feedback from them, and they said, "Yeah, um, do another box. Uh, why not? Let's let's take a look at it." So I, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna pull out the next box. The the first video that I did was actually this box right here, as you can see. So we're just gonna go down the line. I'm gonna do this box. So let me go ahead and pull this one out, and I'll show you guys what we have. Okay. So with that said, and there's, you know, there's all, like I said, there, there's quite a few books in here, guys. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time just on the books alone. I want to go ahead and just kind of go, th go through the books and make sure you guys see the cover. Now, the, uh, this one is labeled, I've got Warren Lowe cover arts. Warren Lowe, I think that's how you say his name. Love his stuff. Natalie Sanders. I've got her books in there. I've got some Mike Chrome. I've got some Francesco. Uh, a few Rothic books in here. And Savine Rich. All right, so here we go. Uh, first one is Warren Lowe. And this one is the Batman, number 50. The, uh, the Wedding, I guess you could say. And there was quite a few variants that came out of this. So I, uh, I liked his artwork, so I went and got that one. Uh, the next one is Green Lantern number 46. Beautiful, beautiful cover. I, I, I bet you if you put a black light to this, you could probably, uh, it'd probably look amazing. Really love that cover. Um, he also did a Justice League number one. Beautiful Wonder Woman cover right there. And I got a G.I. Joe. And I don't have many of his books, to be honest with you. And I know he, there's quite a few books that he did out there. Um, I also have the Power Girl one uh, that uh, he's really famous for. I have that one. That one's actually um, graded, and I have that on display, I believe, out outside one of my statue rooms. Okay, so that was worn. Let's go ahead and move on. Uh, the next one is Natalie Sanders. Man, let me tell you about Natalie Sanders. She, uh, she has really made quite a name for herself in the past uh, year or two. She's been come, she doesn't come out with a lot of covers, but I noticed that when her covers come out and they're for pre-order, they sell out quickly. Her stuff goes quickly. I recommend, and I know uh, KRS Comics, she gets a lot of her uh, variant uh, editions posted on there. Um, and just, she has an Instagram too, and I think she, she also posts that. You know, this is the cover that's coming out. But this is Batman number 50, the Natalie Sanders cover. Really gorgeous. And I got two of those because one of them is the uh, the Virgin variant here. And uh, there's really nothing. I think there was like four other ver uh, renditions of this that came out. And you could see where like some of the cats were white and different different aspects of that. So but I ended up getting those two. Uh, this one is a Barbarella cover that she did. She just does some amazing work, and I like her use of the backgrounds right there. Okay, Harley Quinn 25th anniversary one. Really beautiful cover. All three variations of Harley Quinn. Alright, let's see what else we've got. Vampirella. Guys, 
I'm a big Vampirella fan. I have been a Vampirella fan for years and years. And uh, her original first one came out in uh, 1969, number one, through Warren Publishing. And that was a magazine company, actually. And this one is actually signed. I bought this one signed by her. Never got to meet her. Hopefully one day I get to meet her. Um, I'm going to ask her. Maybe she can uh, come on Comic Talk sometime and I can do a little interview with her. We'll see what, uh, see what we can do. Uh, maybe more people that reach out to her and, uh, and see about uh, maybe helping me promote uh, her onto the, the show. That would be awesome. So if you guys I'd appreciate it, maybe uh, leave her a message on her Instagram or her Facebook and say, hey, you should do you should do comic talk sometime. Okay. Next, um, here's another Salem's Daughter. This one is a really early one of hers, but overall, look at that. Doesn't she do some beautiful artwork? Here's her Edge of Venom, uh, Venomverse. Not a lot of good reviews about Venom movie, man. Um, I'm not going to get into that. I'm going to wait until the shows, um, the uh, talk shows talk about that. Lords of the Round Table, Lords of Longbox, um, uh, the guys from New York Warriors. I'm going to wait till they, I, I'm sure they'll probably br bring it up, but there's not a lot of reviews about the, the Venom movie. But you know what? Like anything, they're for entertainment, so enjoy it. All right. Oh man, look at this Gamora one by her. Isn't that beautiful? Really beautiful cover. Natalie Sanders, guys. And that's the Virgin variant. And this one right here, of course, is the regular Guardian Galaxy number one. Natalie Sanders. Man. Okay. So that was Natalie Sanders. Let me go ahead and put this back here. Put Warren's back. Now we're going to move on to Mike Chrome. Now, if you guys Mike Chrome, Mike Chrome does a lot of um, uh, Xenoscope type of covers, and I, I believe he does. He, he's done some Aspen. He's done some other stuff, but this is what I have with Mike Chrome so far. And I fell in love with his artwork, of course, from Xenoscope. I love Xenoscope covers, by the way. They do some really amazing covers. A little risque, but nevertheless, really nice. Lady Death from Coffin Comics. Steampunk. I love me some steampunk. I'm gonna have to do a video, guys, to show you. Um, I, I did a, a cosplay costume uh, as a vampire, Van Helsing vampire killer steampunk version. So I'm gonna have to do a video on that sometime. There's another Grim Fairy Tales. Okay, moving on. Dance of the Dead, Grim Fairy Tales, Xenoscope. Just this, okay. Sharazad. This is um, by BDI. Mike Chrome. Nei Rufino coloring on that too. Nei is just she does amazing colors. No wonder so many people get her to do that. Another one right here. Another Nei coloring. Mike Chrome uh, penciling. Um, another Sharazad. Grim Fairy Tales Day of the Dead. Another Wonderland. This one's done by Mike Chrome, penciling, and the color's done by Ula Moss. Ula Moss does amazing, amazing coloring as well. And she's she actually does some penciling. I don't hear her do a lot, but Mike Chrome and Nia Rufino. Right. Mike Chrome. Let's see who. I think he just, I think he might have just done the coloring on this too. The penciling and the coloring, I'm sorry. Okay. Let me move on, guys. I'm lagging too long on this. Here's another one. This is two of the same. I have to have two of those. Sometimes I do that by accident. I don't mean to buy two of something, but I, for, I forget to update my CLZ comics, so when I go out hunting, for comics, I don't realize that I have it, but there's nothing wrong with getting double covers. You know, you never know. You might want to have one to get signed, and you want you have one just to have. Another one. That one's Robin Hood. Okay, Hell Child. Another Hell Child. This one's colored by Ula Moss. Evil Hero. 
You gotta understand why I like these like these artists and the covers they, they present. Man, look at that stuff. Genesis. Another Genesis Grim Universe. Uh, Grim Fairy Tales Apocalypse. This is the uh, I'll probably screw that up, but how, how do you say that? Uh, Lord Lorte de Murta <laughs> Anyways, it's the Day of the Dead, like Halloween, like we have in the states um, for the uh, for the Mexicans. And we got a Cinderella cover right here. This is a Mike Chrome penciling and Sabine Rich. Oh, she does some amazing. I have some Sabine Riches in here uh, that you're gonna see too. So wait to wait to see see some of her artwork. All right. So moving on. Saint Hollows. And these are all Xenoscopes. Okay. Here we go. This one, Mike Chrome, Mike Chrome, and Ula Moss. Okay. Ooh, Steampunk. It's another Mike Chrome. Okay. Escape from Monsterland. He does amazing women. No, I, I know a lot of people say you know J. Scott Campbell. He does great women. To be honest with you, man. Uh, I think he's been kind of slacking lately, um, and personally, I think you know I, I love him. I, I love his artwork. Don't get me wrong. I'm not I'm not hating or talking bad about him, but his his rendition of men superheroes they just look too feminine for me, and they look they look very just they, they don't look uh, heroic, super heroic. Little Mermaid. Grim fairy, fairy Tales, and wait until I get to the box of the uh, J. Scott Campbell's, man. That's, that alone is going to take a while, and I'm just probably just going to end up just showing all instead of just saying anything, because I have, I have a lot of Michael, uh, I'm sorry, a lot of uh, J. Scott Campbell's artwork. Okay, and the last one, this is almost the same, but kind of a different variation to that. Okay, there we go. All right, so that was all micro, Mike, Michael Chrome, and I got to meet him too. Really nice guy. Uh, met him in uh, Austin, Texas one year. He was there for a convention and uh, talked to him a little bit. I actually got a commission done by him. I've got a G Gamora commission done. Uh, bought a few prints. He did a really great uh, Red Sonia print that I had to get. Okay, so next one is Francesco. If you guys don't know Francesco, he does some beautiful, beautiful artwork. Met him a couple of times at a couple of conventions before in the past. And got this one, got he signed that for me. And let's see what else. Here's a Wonderland one he did. Okay. And then another Wonderland. Snow White. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Another Grim Fairy Tales, Dark Shaman. Another Grim Fairy Tales, that's really good stuff. Barmaid. And then the last one I have on him, it's another Grim Fairy Tales. I don't have a lot of his guys because his books really sell for some for some change, to be honest. I, I you know, it's just, I have a cap, like I mentioned before in the past. I have a cap when it comes to what I'm going to spend on variants or certain books. And if those books exceed that cap, I'm just not going to get them. And I'm going to get what I can afford, you know? So there you go. Okay, now, J.P. Rothick, she, um, she's not an artist. She's a writer. And she has her own company called J.P. Rothick. And um, she, her boyfriend, I think it's her boyfriend or husband, is Ebass. And um, she is, she's uh, known for her st stories like Theory of Magic, Southern Nightgown, and Southern Nightgown, uh, a couple other ones. And um, so, but she's friends with Sabine Rich, and she's friends with a, a, a Don Matig, Mia Rufino. Like for example, this one, this is actually a Sabine Rich cover, so. That's, that's an idea of what Sabine Rich comes out with. Here's another Sabine Rich. I guess I should have put that in Sabine Rich's spot. <laughs> I put it in 
I put it in there. Here's another Sabine Rich. I guess we're doing Sabine Riches right now. Okay, and this one is an E-Bass and Sabine Rich cover. And I love, I, I mean, I love this storyline too. And there's a, not a lot of books, uh, independent books, especially um, the, like some books in Xenoscope. I like the covers, but don't necessarily like the storyline. But she, she does an actually really great job of storytelling, so I'm really impressed with that. Uh, here's another one, uh, Ancient Dreams. Uh, another one of her books. This is a Don Mateague and Sabine Rich cover. Okay. This one is Ancient Dreams, and this is a E Bass and Sabine Rich cover. Another Ancient Dreams. Um, this one is, I'm not sure who the artist I know Sabine Rich colored this. Okay. And here we go, another one. This is Ancient Dreams, another one of her books. That's a Sabine Rich cover. And this one is an E-Bass cover. Okay, Don Mateague. Love her work, love Don Mateague's work. And I think in the, on the first video is where I uh, showed uh, the collection of what I had with Don Mateague. And let's see, another J, let's see, Mike Chrome. This is a Mike Chrome cover, actually. And the reason why I think I, I titled this Rothic um, labeling, even though uh, the other artists that you see are Mike Chrome, Sabine Rich, is I think I just wanted to put all of her books together. Um, I might just end up changing that. Here's another Don Mateague. So you get a recap of some of the other artists. J, this is J. Scott Campbell, actually. J. Scott Campbell, and usually Nei does his coloring for him, because I don't think he does a lot of coloring. All right, and another Don Mateague, and Sabine Rich. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Don Mateague, Sabine Rich again. That's Southern Nightgowns, by the way. And another Don Mateague, Sabine Rich. Aren't these aren't these just gorgeous covers? I mean, look at this. They do they do some amazing amazing work. Okay, this is another storyline she has is Rem 8. This is a Don Mateague and Sabine Rich cover. All right, moving on. Another Rem 8. There we go. Let's move it this way. And this one right here sure who this hmm doesn't say it might be on the back because it's a double it, it, it's actually a double cover so and then I ended up probably accidentally getting two of those no I accidentally got three of those okay anybody want to do a trade we can do a trade all right here's another rem 8 that's an e-bass cover and an EI Rufino coloring Oh, nice. Another beautiful cover. E-Bass and Sabine Reach. All right. Don Matee cover. I love her work, man. And then her her commissions look just as great. I've seen her do some commissions at her table, and they look just as beautiful. All right. This is a S Sabine Rich cover. And it looks like Wrath... Oh, oh, man. Sorry about that. I accidentally went over. Okay, Divinica, this is another storyline that J.P. Roth did, and this is by Don Mateague. And another, um, is this a Don Mateague? Yep, yep, another Don. Okay, and this is another storyline, Divinica. Okay, so those are Rothic, so J.P. Roth, those are her storylines. Look at that, me promoting people, and I get nothing for it. <laughs> Except the love of the hobby, right? The love of the artwork and the love of the hobby. That's what all counts. All right, next, Sabine Rich. And you've seen some of Sabine Rich's photo, um, I'm sorry, covers already, but here's what I have of her so far. There we go. That's actually Rem 8. That's another copy of Rem 8. Theory of Magic, J.P. Ross story. Look at that. Oh my God, that's so beautiful, guys. Isn't that a gorgeous cover? This is all Sabine Riches right here. She did 
is some amazing stuff. Recent uh, work on Rose. Oops. Death Force. Look at that. Red Agent. Robin Hood. My God, that's so beautiful. The coloring, just the penciling, all that together. Masterpieces, guys. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I know I'm flipping through these guys, but you can always like backtrack it and put it on pause if you really, really want to see it, right? Just kind of showing you what I have. Here's a barmaid one. She did. It's gorgeous. And last one. Lady Death. Okay. And it's it's actually uh, her coloring, Sabine Rich's coloring. It's, she didn't do the ink for that. But okay, so there it is. Sabine Rich, I did Sabine Rich, I did Rothick, I did Francesco, Mike Chrome, Natalie Sanders, and Warren Liu. So there you go, guys. Uh, that's what was in the second box. Um, let me know if this was okay as well. If you want me to continue on with uh, the next box and the next box. If you guys get tired of it, let me know. I mean, I'm not, you know, I, I do these videos for you guys. So you guys can get a little bit of inspiration, kind of get an idea of who some of these artists are. And it, if it inspires you, it inspires you. If you're bored by it, um, if, you, if you just don't like seeing that, um, or even if you have uh, some requests of certain uh, certain different artists or writers that uh, I may have, let me know. Uh, we can we can do something like that. We don't we don't always have to go down the line right over there. We can uh, uh, if you want, if there's a request that you want uh, to see of different artists, if I have them, then I'll do it. Okay. But anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate that. Um, please leave your feedbacks. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys want to continue to do this or if you have certain requests, as I mentioned. Then uh, we'll, we'll go on from that. All right. Thanks a lot.